Denzel Washington directed this movie. Why? I guess we'll never know. A Journal for Jordan stars Michael B. Jordan and Shantae Adams. First Sergeant Charles Monroe King, before he is killed in action in Baghdad, authors a journal for his son intended to tell him how to live a decent life despite growing up without a father. Now, as I mentioned before, this movie comes to us from Denzel Washington, funny enough. And to be honest, I wasn't really looking forward to this movie. I saw the trailer and I was very interested to see how it would turn out as it looked a lot like a Lifetime or a Hallmark movie. And unfortunately, A Journal for Jordan is pretty much just that, and it's passable enough. By no means is this movie horrible or even really that bad, but it's not that good either. Nothing really stands out here, unfortunately. The cast is fine. I mean, Michael B. Jordan is okay. He's a charismatic actor, and a bigger name for a romantic movie like this will definitely intrigue audiences and will bring in money. But Shantae Adams here in her one of her first ever roles is pretty solid. Both her and Michael B. Jordan have good chemistry with one another, but that's kind of really all the positives I have for this movie. My god, it's so damn cliche. It does literally nothing new for the genre. And the biggest thing I have to mention coming out of this movie is why did Denzel Washington, a two-time Academy Award winner and fairly acclaimed director, decide to make a movie like this? I mean, he must have lost a bet with someone or Sony needed him to make a movie. He was under some contract. I don't know why he made this movie. But then aside from that, he doesn't even put his signature stamp on it. This feels like a movie made by a first time director. There is no style and it feels very plain. It's almost like this movie was supposed to go to Lifetime but then Sony picked it up and decided to make this bigger movie with a bigger budget and send it to theaters. I'm just so confused as to why Denzel chose to make this movie. And not only that, it is way too long and completely forgettable. I will say though, it does take its time fleshing out our two leads which I can totally appreciate, but it's so predictable and unoriginal. A Journal for Jordan is just fine. It's competently made by Denzel Washington, but has no style. You know exactly where the movie's going at all times. It's very cliched and it doesn't do anything new for the romance genre. I'm gonna give A Journal for Jordan a C-. I'm not gonna say I'm really disappointed because I didn't really go in with that many expectations. Thank you for watching this review, and if you did enjoy it, consider giving it a like, as well as subscribing and hitting that notification bell to get notified whenever new videos like this go live. As always, look forward to more reviews coming soon. My name is Ben, people call me Meter, and I'll see you guys in the next one.